So it's my first time doing a sit down vlog with you guys, and I really like wanna try something new, and then parang more than just like reacting, <laughs> K-pop videos and ships and like vlogging in general. I just want I want to you guys, my the best people in the world, my online friends, my family. Tell me but down below in the comment section, ko ano gusto niyo name for our family and for our group, like. Uh, if I use it, uh, I'll give you like a twice of of kind of But yeah, if I use that, just message me and then parang oh, you can pala sabi na okay, I'll give you twice of. I just want to be more open to you guys and to be more like uh, to get to know you guys even better, you know? Because parang this is like a one-sided thing. I want it to be more of like a conversation with you guys. I just want this to be like a really, really informal vlog about my life and what's happening with it. Baka dito kayo mas excited at baka wala na kayo pakilat sa pagkasabihin ko except lahat. Here I'm gonna announce the winner of my giveaway! I'm gonna give away, if I remember, I'm gonna give away this one. So, later at the end of this video, I'm gonna announce the winner for the giveaway. So for today's video, let's have an informal session that's like get to know each other more. Uh, the reason why I'm not going to upload is because I've been busy with like a project, I guess. Like, I really want to create like a getting to know you video, but I want it to be full production more than just like a uh, sit down video like this. But since that's going to take a lot of time, I've been really busy right with work. Yes, for me, vlogging is my passion, really. Like, I know I have work, but I also have you guys. Like, I at the end of the day, you guys really helped me become a better person than I was yesterday. So anyway, besides that, so I just wanted to thank you guys for always being there for me at the same time. Thank you guys for like all the support and love that you have shown me for the past X months. And I just want to share a little bit of my cuento and to be more open to you guys. Adulting. For me, adulting is really, really scary. Like, really scary. I don't know. Maybe. It's scary. Maybe you guys can relate since you guys are really, really young. But when you get the chance na parang to graduate na kayo ng high school or you graduate na kayo ng college, these are like the specific milestones in your life that's really like different. That's so you're gonna change your life completely. And for me, like, it's like adulting. It's really gonna change. Except that for adulting, it's like a never ending cycle of all those milestones. Because parang after you graduate college, Oh, you have to get a get better job, you have to get promoted, you have to get a family, then you have to put family, get a knock and kids, and all the other stuff, and it won't end. So, parang it's really, really daunting, because after college, there's no more grades to, like, focus to. There are no more, like, tests to always answer, study for. It's really up to you on what you want to do. So, it's that's the daunting part of being an adult. But at the same time, for me, it's like really, really cool because you have a lot of time for yourself. Like, you have a lot of time for your passion project, aka this, and vlogging. <laughs> and aka I get to do dance and all those other stuff that I really love doing. But at the same time, parang, it's really pressuring because being a Gen Z, I guess, it's normal to not know yet what you guys want in life. It's really normal to be like that, Gen Z millennial, I guess. But there's still like a pressure for you to know it exactly like right now, which is for me, it's really hard. Because there's so little time that you have right now with all the technology, with everything that's happening in the world right now. But you guys shouldn't be pressured like with how life goes. Oh, if everyone does, oh, you have to be like this when you get this age. You have to get married by this age. You have to like uh, have a job na by 20 years old. Ka na, kapag hindi, wala na, lagot, oh no, ganyan, mga ganon. For me, eventually everything will fall into place. That's for me the biggest advice I can give any single person. Everything will fall into place after you give it so much time and after a lot of time passes. You know? So yeah. So that's me on adulting. Oh, one reason man I have been being I haven't been like uploading as often because I've watched a lot of TV series now again. LOL and one of my favorite TV series ever. As in crazy right now, I'm so obsessed with it. It's called Sotos. It's a Thai BL. I'm not really a fan of Thai BLs before, but now it's like, 
Whoa, what I have been missing. <laughs> but crazy, ang ganda. As in, so this is made me realize what kind of relationship I want to have. Like, what kind of relationship I want to be a part of. Like, a very, very chill relationship that you know that you guys are meant for each other. Like, the two people are just meant for one another. Like, you guys just love each other. As in, crazy, ang galing talaga ng ganun kasi, uh, story. You guys should really watch it. I don't want to spoil anything, pero wow. I think I think every single person in this world deserves that. Deserves that kind of person. No matter who supportive all the way, who makes sure that you're and cares about you, as a genuinely cares about you. And as in, wow, ang ganda talaga. So I guess you guys should watch it. So I'm <laughs> I'm really a big fan of Kristen Singtos and. I think they're really meant to be for each other. Like, even in real life, I don't know. That's a relationship I want for it to be harder for me right now since Milano's, it's different. How to date in college. And I mean, like, the dating in college is so different from, like, dating in, like, real work. Like, I don't know how I'm really an awkward shy girl that just wants to, like, hi. <laughs> and just be like, ooh, I'm shy. And if you guys see me out there, don't don't just like don't hesitate to like say hi. I'll say hi back. I'm not a bitch or I'm not like mean or anything. I'm just really really awkward as a person. Like I'm I shell. I want to live in my shell. That's why I really want to like get out of my shell more. I guess with this with this and stuff like that. But at the same time, how would I find a partner if I was awkward? <laughs> so yeah. Which goes to my next point. The direction that I want my vlog and my channel to be is besides the K-pop and the Korean like aesthetic that I want to show the world and my since you know acting goal in life is to help spread the Korean culture to the Philippines and everyone in general. I want to like use this avenue as like more of a lifestyle platform, I guess. And for me to like, you know, express my different opinions since you know, uh I think that's what you guys want and parang to be more genuine with you guys. I just want this to be more of like a conversational space, I guess. This area, this my channel is be more of a conversation. Yeah. And at the same time I inspire na sa awkward but awkward since birth. I love that channel. It's about the Korean guy who's looking for love out there. I'm not making my channel like about dating or anything. Or I just want to, to like make my channel like something more Genuine and something like more open, I guess. So that's it. So that's the end of this video. So and I'm gonna put it And I hope you guys learned a few things. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you want to see more of me, and comment down below of what you want me to do next. So with that, stay high five. Annyeong, bye guys. See you next time.